Hey, Nicole Huntsman, your astrologer from moderncosmic.com. I've got a little Valentine's Day special for you. So we're going to look at each of the sun signs, you know, through the zodiac. And for those of you who don't know anything other than your partner's sun sign, that's fine. If you know your partner's Mars sign, you can substitute... When I say sun sign, substitute Mars sign for that, okay? Because your sun and your Mars both kind of operate in these similar ways. They're both planets that have to do with heat, that have to do with passion, uh, in a way. So uh, Mars more directly. If you really want to know how to sexually satisfy your partner on Valentine's Day, listen to the version of this video that I do for your partner's Mars sign, and that will give you some good ideas, some good tips. This is a Cancer Sun or a Cancer Mars, either way, it doesn't matter. Um, with Cancer, you've got to, this is a feeling sign, they're sensitive. So you need to approach Valentine's Day, romance, lovemaking, connection, intimacy, etc. from sort of, you have to sidle up to it, okay? You'll notice with Cancers, if you've got someone who's got strong Cancer Sun or even Cancer Moon or Cancer Mars, they don't typically like the direct approach, okay? They like to use subtlety. They like to kind of like work their way around to something, okay? So for example, I'll give you some concrete, like concrete explanation here. You show up for the date. You start out simply with a hug. So they like physical connection with the person they're intimate with, okay? A hug, the sense of you're embracing them, making them feel safe, secure, protected. Even if it's a male cancer, they really love affection. They love closeness, physical closeness to the person they love, okay? So start the date out that way and with a, just a nice kiss, you know? And let them know that you are, through your eye contact, your physical contact, that you're happy to be there with them uh, physically in their presence and that there's nowhere else you'd rather be than there with them, okay? You need to create a sense of, of warmth, of belongingness, that this is where both of you should be tonight, you know, kind of a thing. Um, with cancers, it depends on other things in their sign, in their, or not their sign, in their birth chart. So you can have, as far as if they're going to want to go out to dinner or just kind of do a night in or do uh, something really romantic, like where you get a cabin in the woods or something that's very private. There's this element with cancer where it needs to be intimate, private, just the two of you. Because remember, they're the, they're the crab, or I call them the turtle. They prefer feeling safe, and so they're insular. So for them to open up, for intimacy, they have to feel really comfortable with their surroundings and kind of knowing what's going on. I wouldn't really recommend surprising them unless they knew you were going to surprise them. So you could kind of say to them, it would be fun to sort of to excite them and say, okay, I have plans for us on this day, you know, Valentine's Day. Um, so you need to bring this, 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 and this. Tell them what they need to bring if you're taking them somewhere, by the way. If you're taking your cancer on a trip, do not, at the very last second, come and pick them up without giving them a chance to prepare themselves and bring the stuff they need. You're, they might be okay with it in that moment, like, oh, this is great. You get there, and they, like the next day they don't have all their stuff, and they're going to be pissed. And they're going to let you know in a very kind of passive-aggressive or indirect way where they're just kind of bothered. Just word of the wise. Okay. Um, now... Food is important. Cancers are typically the type they like to feed people. They like to, to, to either go. So, so grabbing a meal or bringing food with you, bringing food in is actually really nice. Or going someplace and bringing food with you or doing like a picnic kind of a thing in the daytime would be really lovely if you did it somewhere private. Um, it's just the idea here being you're creating intimacy between just the two of you and you are nurturing and nourishing this person because that's what they like to do for you. Um, and then cancers are sentimental. So a lot of times they have little hobbies or they'll have collections or things that, that they have that, that they've kept over time that are meaningful to them. Um, so if you can pay attention to what that might be and get something for them to add to their collection that has that's meaningful. My mom, for example, my stepdad buys her teddy bears. My stepdad's a Leo. They're total gift givers. And so he's always buys her these teddy bears. So she has this huge teddy bear collection, which is so cute and sentimental and cheesy and whatever. But, um, and you would never think my mom would be into that, but she does, she has them. And it's just this cute little thing that they have, or they'll collect Christmas ornaments together, you know, like throughout the year. And this for them is just a sweet way of nurturing each other and the people that they love. Okay. So find out it's not that they care about the price. It's the meaning. It's the sentimentality behind it. Also a letter that is heartfelt for a cancer is very meaningful. They'll probably keep it forever. Um, little sweet things too, like, um, with your lipstick, if you're a girl and your guy's a cancer, you know, writing something on their mirror with your lipstick or leaving them like a little hidden note somewhere that they find and discover. These little things are fun for cancers. There's this element of it being very private between the two of you, um, and um, but also them feeling like you put some effort in and you really care about them, okay, care about their feelings. Um, so let me see. I have other notes here. What else did I make notes of? Um, oh, 
Jeez, of course, duh, the actual act of sex. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so with cancer, because they are very intuitive, um, cancer is ruled by the moon, it's the heart. And they do have this ability, this uncanny kind of weird, creepy ability to like know how to move their bodies um, unless they have other things that are afflicted in their chart, like their Mars or something. But they have this ability to intuitively know how to meet you sexually. So wherever you're at sexually, they'll meet you there. Um, they tend to be, in general, more the type that are comfortable in a more of a passive role where if you're more assertive and aggressive they, they like that better and then they'll come out and then they'll be usually more assertive not to say that all cancers are like wallflowers when it comes to sexuality it's just they tend to wait to make sure that you're in the same spot they're in and then they'll kind of move towards you they like you know full body contact they like um the cancer is, I mean, it's the moon. It's like the ocean. There's, they're fluid. They have this ability intuitively to know what feels good to you, like the pressure to use, um, et cetera, et cetera. So you just need to be sort of um, using a gentle touch with them. They do like a gentle, more subtle sexual approach generally, at least up front first. Um, and then they do like things to go progressively kind of deeper and more intense through the sexual experience. Um, and they like not only the physical act, but they like feeling the emotional almost vulnerability and then sort of closeness, that intimacy that you're, that's felt during true lovemaking. Um, this is not a sign typically that enjoys just going and getting their rocks off with some stranger. Uh, if so, they would have to have like a lot of Aquarius in their chart or something, or, I mean, other like Sagittarius or some things that make them more, you know, open to that or Aries or something. But the typical cancer wants, even if they're putting up a front like they're um, sexually promiscuous, they, they actually really ultimately want that emotional intimacy and that emotional connection. So that's my take. Uh, let me know what you think if you're with a cancer or if you are a cancer, you would know best. Um, but yes, thanks for watching. Have a great Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.